APCS 2023 Java exam has just finished and they've released the FRQs to the public. I've just ran through the questions and have working solutions. I've also built runner classes. This is the first video in a series where I'll walk through the FRQs and run sample exam code. Today I'm going to cover FRQ1 address book. All the code that we're going to cover, including the runner classes, as well as the APCS questions, can be found in the GitHub link below. You can download the examples and follow along. Use the test runner classes to test out your own answers to the exam. Let's get started. We're going to start off the 2023 free response questions with appointment book. A lot of people have mentioned in the Facebook chat that appointment book uh, happens to be the toughest question and it's pretty low to give this question to students right off the bat and, give, and demoralize them before they start the quiz. But I have to agree, going through all four of them, this is the most difficult. The good news is if you're able to, to muscle your way past, the other questions should be fairly simple. So let's take a look. Uh, the question involves the appointment book class, which provides methods for students to schedule appointments with their teacher. The appointments, the teacher has class periods, one through eight, and the requested appointment has a duration, 60 minutes, zero through 59. So essentially, a uh, teacher's day is made up of eight periods. Each period is made up of 60 minutes. So it assumes that the teacher has nothing better to do than to schedule appointments and meet with, with people. Now, if we take a look at the code block they gave us, we don't have to worry about how appointment book is managing that. They give us two functions that we can use. The is minutes free and reserve block. The first method they give us is is minutes free. You provide a period and the particular minute within that period that you want to check to see if the teacher is free or not, and it'll return true or false. For all the 60 minutes within a, a period, it'll select a particular minute and tell you true or false. Yes, the, the, the teacher is free for that particular minute. The second method they give us is reserve block, where you can provide it a period that you want to block out, the start minute within that period between 0 and 59 on where you want to start the block, and the duration for how many minutes you want to block out for the teacher's time. And what it'll do is under the hood, it'll reserve that chunk of time for you. So it'll make, make those uh, minutes uh, not available for the teacher. Given that, we're going to have to build two functions. The first function is find free block, where you specify a period and a duration, and we, it'll tell you whether the teacher is free for a chunk in that period. We'll get into the details when we start going through part A. The second question that we're gonna have to do is make appointment. So you'll provide a start period and an end period. The start period will be anywhere between one through eight, and the end period will hopefully be after that start period, I want to block out some time with the teacher between her second and her fourth period. So if there's any time within that chunk of time, it will reserve that time for me and uh, mark true. Otherwise, if there is no time available, if I can't find say 15 minutes within between period two and period five or whatever, it will return false saying, hey, I can't make an appointment, try again. Let's take a look at the details of find free block. Again, we talked about it. It'll take a look one of the eight periods and you can see here, this is kind of an example of what a teacher's period might look like. The first 10 minutes are reserved, zero through nine. The next five minutes, 10 through 14, are available. So somebody can block some time in there. Uh, the next 15 minutes are blocked. The next 15 minutes are free. The next five minutes are blocked. And the next 10 minutes are free. So this is what a teacher's schedule would look like. When I call find free block to 15, so it's, again, this is period two, it'll say, can I find a continuous chunk of 15 minutes? It will return 30 because it'll look here, say, oh, there's th these minutes are not available. It'll look here and say, okay, uh, do I have 15 minutes available here? Nope, I only got five minutes, go to the next one. It'll say, uh, do I have any free blocks? Nope, this is already blocked. It'll start here and say, okay, do I have 15 minutes available? And it says, oh yes, I do have 15 minutes available. It'll return 30 saying, this is free at 30. If I was to call the same function with two and nine, it'll do the same thing. Nope, these are blocked. Nope, this only has five minutes. Nope, these are blocked. Okay, yeah, nine is less than 15. So I can, I can take a nine minute chunk starting at 30. So again, this will also return 30. Lastly, if I called that function and I said, I want a 20 minute block for period two, it'll loop through and say, okay, that's not free. Oh, it's only five minutes. That's not free. It's free, but it's only five minutes. It's not, not good enough. This one's already blocked. This one's only 15 minutes that she's free. Uh, five minutes is blocked and then 10 minutes. So none of these, there's no continuous 20 minute free chunk. So it'll return negative one saying, I can't find any time within that block. All right, so let's take a look at code. How are we going to pull this off? Now, looking at the Facebook, somebody went through ChatGPT and, and plugged this in and got uh, ChatGPT's answer, and I thought it was pretty elegant, but I did it a different way. Both of them worked. I tried both both ways, and they both worked, but I'm going to try the one way I did it. So the way I, I, I took it is first, let's take a look. I want to hold on to the start minute and the number of free minutes found. So I want to hold that 
position that I'm going to be final. I'm going to be returning in the end, and I want to track the number of minutes continuously. I set up my variables. The next thing I want to do is I want to loop through all the minutes in the period minus the duration. So I'm going to loop through zero to fifty-nine minus the duration. So if I'm looking for a fifteen-minute chunk, I don't want to go to minute fifty-nine and see if there's anything left because there's only one minute left. I don't have. To, I, it's not long enough for duration. So that's why I get the fifty-nine minus duration. I'm only going to check as far as I can. Once I loop through that, I want to check to say, is a minute free? So is the minute that I'm looking at right now free? I'm calling that, that function that we talked about earlier, is minute free? Okay, back to this. They have a function that they give us called is minute free, where I give it the period and the minute. I want to take that and say, okay, in this particular period that they're passing in, is this minute free? If it is, then I want to check to see if it's the first free minute. So if the hold is negative one, I know this is the first free minute. I want to hold on to that. So I'm going to hold on to this first free minute. And then I'm going to add number of free minutes. Feel, feel free to pause this at any time. Also, I have this all out on GitHub. I've got runners for these classes, and I've got the class I'm working through, and I also have the final answer here. So if you want to take a look at the answer, it's there. Also, if you want to walk along with me, you can take a look at this file. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Now that I've added to the number of free minutes, I'm going to check to see if I've hit the duration. As I'm looping through, checking free minutes, if I continually get free minutes, I'm going to start building this up until number of continuous minutes is stored in here. If the number of continuous minutes is, meets the duration, I've continually looped through this and I've got a whole bunch of free minutes that are together that are the same, I'm going I found my first chunk, I'm going to return that. What we're going to do, what if the minute is not free? So I have this nice little else clause here. What if it's not free? I'm going to zero everything out. So again, uh, if the first minute I get that's not free, I'm going to zero it out. I'm going to put my hold back to negative one, saying, up, oh, it's not free, and then zero out my, my counter. And that's it. So if I was to go, let me save this. I have a runner class here, if you want to run over to this. I've created this and blocked it out just like the code example. Let's, let's transition over back to the code. So if I was to take a look at the example here, I have the, uh, the first 10 minutes blocked. I have the starting at minute 15, I have the next 15 minutes blocked. And I, starting at minute 45, I have the next five minutes blocked. Okay, so if I was to run this, we can take a look at what it, so that you can see that this matches what we have here in this table here, zero to nine, 10 to 14, 15 to 29, 30 to 44, 45 to 49, and 50 to 59. Okay, also we notice that the find free block of two and 15 returns 30. That matches this, this case. We see also that two and nine matches 30, which is this case. And lastly, two and 20 has negative one. So we find that this particular implementation meets the criteria and works. Okay, let's take a look at the second part of this question. So if we go down to make appointment. We're going to search from start to end period for a particular duration and make an appointment. If we find a block, if we find a block that's free, we're going to call the helper method reserve block to reserve that chunk and then return true. Otherwise, if a block is not found, it'll return false. So what does that mean? Here's another example. We have three block, we have three blocks, periods two, three, and four. It's got different chunks set up. If you call make appointment, we're looking at from anywhere from period two to four, and we're looking for a continuous 22 minute chunk. It'll take a look here. No, 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 yes. So here's here's one that's available, it's 25 minutes, and it'll reserve it, saying, and it'll return back true. And it, underneath the, the scenes, it, will have, it should have reserved minutes five through 26 in period four, because it matches this. If I was to say three, four, and three, it'll start here. It'll find it right away because there's three minutes right away. It'll reserve zero through two in period three and mark that as unavailable and return true. Lastly, it'll start here and look for 30 minute chunks. It'll look through each one of these and find no available 30 minute chunks and return false. At the end, this is what the period looks like. So let's take a look at the code. First thing we're going to do is we're going to loop through the periods. So if I do that, I'm going to loop 
through the periods start at the start period including the end period and increment the period that's pretty simple now I'm going to take advantage of the free block function that we created passing in the period and the length and it will tell me if there is a free block if, it, if it's not a free block it'll be negative one let's take a look at that negative case if we found a block that's free we want to reserve that block we're going to call the reserve block min start and duration and then return true otherwise return false and that's it let's save that and let's run frq runner b here we see that I, i'm using that same helper function i created this helper function to help me initialize the case let's switch back and we can see zero through tw uh, zero 25 minutes I have in period 2, 0 to 25 minutes, in period 2, 30 for 30 minutes, 30 for 30 minutes. In period 3, I've reserved 15 for 26 minutes, that's this guy here. I've reserved 0 for 5 minutes, that's on period 4, 0 for 5 minutes. And in period 4, I've reserved, starting at minute 30, 14 minutes. So I've simulated that, and I'm going to get the, I'm going to print out the range, I'm going to make an appointment these three appointments here and it should the result should be true true false and the result I should see uh, a range like this so let's take a look if I was to run this okay so let's see if this let's see if this first table matches the example table so I've got zero so in period two I have three I have three options for period two zero through 24 25 through 29 and 30 through 59 no yes no for period three I have three sections. I have 0 to 14 is yes, 15 through 40 is no, and 41 through 59 is yes. Okay, that matches. And lastly, I've got four chunks. I've got four pieces for period four. I've got 0 to 4 is no, 5 to 29 is yes, 30 to 43 is no, and 44 to 59 is yes. So our starting table looks correct. We made three calls true, true, and false. True, true, and false. And then lastly, our final table should look like this. So now I, I still have three uh, entries for two. No, yes, no, 0 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 through 59. I have four entries now for three, where 0 through 2 is reserved, no. 3 through 14 is not reserved, so yes. 15 to 40 is no, 41 through 59 is yes. And I have uh, different values for period four, where 0 to 26 now is reserved, no. 27 through 29 is yes, 30 through 43 is no, and 44 through 59 is yes. Uh, and that is the answer to FRQ1.